BMW have got a complete and exhaustive product range. They've got so many cars out there at the moment, but this has got to be one of their best city SUVs. The BMW X1, five door, compact. It's actually shorter than the previous model, but strangely, it's got more leg room in the rear and more boot space. So there's been very clever engineering gone on. I love the way it looks. It's a, an immensely stylish car. It's got that familiar BMW kidney grille at the front now. It's finished in chrome, so it gives that presence on the road. It really is a great looking car and it really is practical and functional. Anyway, let's go and take it out on the road and see what it drives like. Right, well, let's find out if it really does live up to its reputation, this BMW. First of all, what am I holding on to? Well, I'm gripping on to a wonderful multi-function steering wheel that does everything I need it to do. I can control all the cockpit stuff from the steering wheel. It's uh, got reach, it's got rake. I've got a height adjustable seat as well in this uh, version of the X1. Uh, it's lovely and it's so familiar. It doesn't matter whether you get a BMW from 30, 40 years ago or a BMW today, you just know what car you're in. The fonts never change, the buttons seem to be the same buttons that were in a BMW 2002. They just never seem to have changed anything because if it works, it works. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And they've never been broken, have they, these cars? They're so good. The dashboard doesn't seem to have changed over the years either. Everything's laid out clearly in front of you. The only exception nowadays is that we all seem to have these LCD displays in the cars, and this is no exception. This has got satellite navigation, Bluetooth connectivity. You can drive most of the functions from a car using this LCD uh, display and screen. It's run through BMW's iDrive system, which is down at my left hand. It's a little bit fiddly to get used to, but once you get used to it, it's really easy to navigate your way across. You can flick between menus and pull up your music or uh, put an address in for satellite navigation. It's really intuitive and it really does get you where you need to go quickly once you get used to it. It's very nice. Um, other than that, the seats are good. They're gripping me in all the right places and space. We've got plenty of space inside. You can fit five full adults in this car uh, with comfort and you've still got a huge amount of boot space left and uh, lots of shoulder elbow room and I've been trying to work out how they've got so much space in this car being that they've made it smaller and I've worked it out what they've done is they have pushed the driver and the passenger closer towards the windscreen because I'm sitting right on top of the windscreen there. It's just there. I can touch it and tap it. And uh, before you'd have to stretch out for it. And what that's done is it's given this car better driving because I can see more out the front. In fact, for a car of this size, it's really easy to work out where the four corners are when it comes to parking. Not that you need to worry because this has got parking sensors all the way around it, but it really is an easy visual car to look out of. It's got lots and lots of visibility. It's really good. So ergonomically, unfaultable, just like BMWs are. They're brilliant. So what's it drive like? Well, they do a couple of different versions. You've got a two litre petrol, two litre diesel. The one that I'm driving is the X-Drive, four wheel drive, two and a half litre diesel version, naught to 60 in about six and a half seconds, uh, over 140 miles an hour. And it goes like this. <laughs> okay, but slow down. It's a two and a half litre diesel. <laughs> and still, it makes me laugh every time I put my foot down in these modern cars, just how quick they are. I'm used to driving old classics, and when I get in something like this, I, it's like a spaceship, it really is. Two and a half litre diesel that gets down the road, just like that, and puts a smile in your face. And being it's a BMW, it's so sure-footed. The steering in this car, you think about where you're gonna put the car and it's there on the road. It's so direct, so positive. The suspension, they just seem to hold the road better than other cars. They ride over the ruts and the bumps and they soak it all up with ease. 
unfaultable. This car really is unfaultable. It's the perfect city SUV that is quite happy to live anywhere. And being a four wheel drive as well, you can take this car to the countryside, just enjoy it. So whether you go for the two litre petrol or the car that I've been driving, that two and a half litre diesel, I'm pretty sure you will find a car that is the ultimate driving machine. They really do say what they're gonna do, those cars. They get down the road so well, so sure-footed, so safe, perfect for the family, perfect for a commuter vehicle, and perfect for somebody out there like you. So why not pay us a visit at mikebrewermotors.com and see what we can do for you, because I'm pretty sure We'll have a BMW X1 that will suit your needs. And don't forget all the other services that we have to offer, including the 82-point check on all of our vehicles, the 12-month mechanical breakdown cover, and you always get the remainder of the manufacturer's warranty as well. So pay us a visit at mikebrewermotors.com.